What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 tips to climbing out of gold overwatch and into platinum as a DPS player. You guys seem to really enjoy this tip series and I love being able to share my experiences and what I've learned with you guys along the way. Even if it's helpful to just one of you guys out there, I will have considered this tip series from bronze to platinum so far a success. If you want to check out my other 10 tips to climbing the ranks in overwatch, be sure to click the link that's appearing somewhere on your screen right now. Also, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications turned on to see more of them. And you can also catch my Overwatch climbing journey on my Twitch from Monday to Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Also, I'm curious, what was the best tip you've ever received to climbing the ranks in Overwatch? Be sure to comment it down below so others can read them and hopefully it helps them in their climbing journey as well. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Tip number one. Be consistent and warm up before your games. This can either be done via workshop code or deathmatch or your preferred aim trainers. Having good aim makes up for poor decision making in this rank. Although you will have to focus on better decision making as you rank up, that comes with time and you should start focusing on your aim consistency now so you hit your shots when they matter. Tip number two, be a playmaker. Don't play passive and rely on teammates to carry you. You're the only consistency amongst your games, and it's up to you to see the opportunities of when you can make an impact and solidify that. Now, recognizing when there's an opportunity in front of you where you can be a playmaker and make an impact, it comes with time and learning the game more. So just keep playing and trying out different scenarios. Keep making mistakes. It's okay. It's how you learn. One consistent opportunity that you can capitalize on is when a squishy player, so for example, a support or a DPS player, are separated from their teammates. If you can safely get to them and have a way out in case they absolutely dome you, killing out of position enemies is a good start. Tip number three, kill who your biggest threat is. To put it plainly, you have to be better than your threats. Who stands in your way from popping off? Is it the Widow? Zarya? Ana? It's okay to ask for people and help from your team to solidify those kills because if they're dead, what's stopping you from hard carrying? <laughs> that was sick. Tip number four, play quicker and increase your actions per minute. The biggest thing that I've noticed in the rank differences is the speed in which they play. I don't really care if you made a bad decision. Recognize that it was a bad decision in that moment, figure out why, and learn from it. Not to mention, playing quicker will help to generate your ultimates quicker, so recognize how to gain your ultimate the quickest per hero, as they oftentimes win most Overwatch games. I'm a god! Tip number five. You need to win your 1v1s, and it's okay to ask for help from your team to do so. Knowing your matchups and how you can use your abilities to win the fight is very important. For example, there's no sense in trying to stun and right click a Moira. She's just going to fade out before you're done shooting. Same thing with Reaper and his Wraith ability. Learning to stun and hit the headshot will do more damage and leave you looking less of a loser. The flip side to this is also knowing when you need to get out of a 1v1 situation or ask for peel from your teammates. For example, playing Tracer and attacking the enemy Zen. If you see their Mercy come to pocket their Zen and heal him, perhaps it's time to skedaddle and look for another target and opportunity to re-engage. Bro, holy shit. Tip number six, do not six stack, plain and simple. The likelihood of getting smurfs or throwers or boosters is so much higher. I've personally found the sweet spot to be about a three stack. Oh geez, where's my fucking Reinhardt? I don't know. This is not oblivion. Guess what, he's just shit. Oh god, I gotta land this fucking sticky. Turn around. <laughs> Tip number seven. Take space and hold smart angles. So for example, what I deem to be the 90 rule, as explained here. Okay, so off angles, what I mean, since you were on defense here, eventually the payload's gonna have to go in through here. Right, so pretty much what happens is that Reinhardt's mainly, or just tanks in general, will try to take the fight and spam at each other. An off angle is anything that applies like a side pressure to the enemy team. So anything, if you're standing right here and you're applying side pressure, if you're standing like over here and applying that side pressure, that's considered an off angle. And it's a relatively safe off angle because it's only 90 degrees from your team. Math there for you guys, you're welcome. So it's pretty easy for you to give back to your team in a relatively safe way. So these are considered off angles. Anything behind here 
is considered a flank. So heroes like Tracer are pretty good for flanks. But these are the angles that I want you to consider taking more. There's a lot of spots on the map that allow you to do that on just a ton of maps. And I want you to look for them. Tip number eight, play to your team's strengths. If the enemy team is running full dive, having a strong core like Ana, Brig, Kree, and Zarya to protect against the dive will help you win the fight. Generally speaking, if played correctly, Brawl counters dive, dive counters bunker, and spam counters brawl. Tip number nine. Think about how you can shut down enemy ultimates and save your ultimates for that moment. So for example, if you know the enemy Genji has Nanoblade, saving Bob for that moment is fantastic to apply added pressure to him. Stay aggressive. Good job, Bob. Tip number 10. Have a good mental. I say it every time in these videos because it's true and we often lose our ways in our journey to climbing, myself included. I've learned to stop playing after three straight losses if you feel the quality of games has gone down. You're going to have teammates that didn't heal you enough, and you're going to have teammates that throw their ultimate with four teammates down, and you're going to have teammates who take peak shots and die when your team is trying to group up, prolonging the stagger. But what could you have done better? Not peek a widow sightline? Not walk in front of your tanks? It's perfectly okay to take a break from Overwatch and come back gradually. Climbing takes time. It took me 10 months to climb out of gold. Oh. No one's rushing you except yourself. Oh. oh, but that was clean. But that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a thing or two. Be sure to comment down below if there's a tip that you think I should have included in this video to climbing to platinum in Overwatch. Bye.